everyone this is suvanya from ksr college of arts and science for women today we are going to discuss about operating system introduction to understand an operating system is to maintain the working of an entire computer system because the operating system manage each and every piece of hardware and software operating system is a software which makes a computer to actually work it is the software that enables all the program we use OS act as an interface between the application program and the machine hardware. Types of operating system: batch system, interactive system, time sharing system, real time sharing system, network system, parallel system, distributed system, clustered system. System calls: System calls provide the interface between a process and the operating system. These calls are generally available as assembly language instruction. System calls can also be made directly through the HLL program for certain system. Unix system calls can be involved directly from a C or C++ program. Process A process is a program during execution. A process is the basic unit of execution in an operating system. Different process may run different instances of the same program. At a minimum process, execution requires flowing, following resources. Memory to contain the program code and data. A set of CPU registers to support execution. Thread. Thread can be defined as a separate flow of execution, where a process is divided into number of threads. A thread is also called a lightweight process. For example, if you play a game at the same time, you can download a video is means to process executed simultaneously. Each thread belongs to exactly one process and no thread can exist outside a process. Scheduling One CPU in a with a number of process. Only one process can use the CPU at the Time, which process is going to be executed that thing decide a, a scheduler and its whole thing is called scheduling two types of scheduling primitive non primitive types of scheduler three types long term scheduler medium term scheduler short term scheduler first one is long term scheduler load a job in a memory runs infrequently Medium term scheduler, select ready process to run on CPU, should be fast. Short term scheduler, reduce multi-programming. Virtual memory, virtual memory is a common part of operating system on desktop computers. The term virtual memory refers to something which appears to be present but actually it is not. The virtual memory technique allows user to move memory from a program then the real memory of computer thank you